forgot to pray for me. I need my father to find us with Ella. Father, bless Baby. my daughter. Hi guys, welcome back to Loro Emi TV. Do you remember popular Nollywood child actress Belshi Mugala, who was popularly known as Little Danella? From 2016 to 2020, Belshi Mugala, alongside the Ogwike sisters, was one of the most popular Nollywood child actress. But have you ever wondered why she stopped acting and why her Instagram account got deactivated? Well, Stay tuned as bring to you the sad story of the little, beautiful, talented Pelshi Mugala. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel, you're highly welcome to Laura Emmy TV and please do also hit on that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you can always stay notified and updated whenever we upload a new video. We upload very interesting contents every day. Without further ado, let's jump right into our story. Pelshi Mugala was born on the 27th day of June 2008 in Wari, Delta State in the South-South region of Nigeria. She is currently 14 years old. She was born to a South Korean father and a Nigerian mother. Although she does not know who her father is, she has never met him before. Her mother, Afo Franka Mugala, is from Uduluku government area in Delta State, but unfortunately, she died in December 2019, leaving the little talented actress motherless and somewhat fatherless too, which also marked the beginning of her suffering. Before the death of her mother, Pelshim lived in Lagos and was managed by Soulmate Studio Production. She featured in a lot of Soulmate Studio Production movies like Little Danella, Lens, Danella's Court amongst others. She featured alongside the three Ogwiki sisters, Chidumma Ogwiki, Chisum Ogwiki, and Chineya Ogwiki. But after the death of Pershim's mother in December 2019, life hasn't remained the same for the little princess. After her mother's burial, she was supposed to move in with her aunt who lives in Benin City. But news reaching us has it that she did not go to Benin City again. Rather, she got stuck in Wari, where she lives with her grandmother in the trenches and she currently attends a not so good ghetto school. And according to reports, Soul May Studio abandoned her. Her last movie with Soul May Studio was shot in 2020, a few months after the death of her mother, before she was later abandoned and left to the care of her old grandmother in the trenches of Worry, where she is struggling to survive. She has literally gone from grace to grass. And after publishing our first story about her situation sometime last year, Pastor Chibuzo of Omega Power Ministry tackled and some other persons reached out to us offering to help her the man of god reached out to us on facebook offering to send her on a fully funded scholarship abroad and this very pastor is known for his numerous charity works and philanthropic gestures across nigeria and beyond he was the same pastor that sent the sacked chicken republic dancers popularly known as happy boys on a scholarship abroad he also gifted the homeless veteran hollywood actor popularly known as aguba a house sometime last year among many other gestures so he reached out to us offering to help Pershim himself and many other good Samaritans reached out to us so we contacted Pershim's grandmother who was taking care of her at that time we told her everything and how several persons were offering to help her grandchild but she turned down all of the offers saying she doesn't want any help and doesn't trust all of those offering to help her daughter she then gave us a detailed narrative of what transpired between Pershim and Soul Made studio production we have part of the voice note recording and we shall be playing it by the end of this video endeavor to watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on anything and so you could listen to what mama said but before then let's summarize what mama told us her grandmother said after the death of Pershing's mother in late 2019, Soulmate Studio production team and the founder took Pershing to Enugu, where the company is based. Since Pershing's mother, who also doubled as her manager, was no longer alive, the founder of the movie company Soulmate Studio took her in. Pershing was now living with them 
in their Enugu home. But there was a problem. According to her grandmother, Belshim wasn't enrolled in any school while in Enugu. Mama claimed the founders of Soulmate Studio were only using her for movie roles and ignored her education. This is according to Belshim's grandmother. Mama then had to travel down to Enugu to get her granddaughter. Mama embarked on a journey from Wari to Enugu where she rescued Belshim from what she described as her users and according to Mama, there was no money in Belshim's account, meaning her account was not funded by Soulmate Studio Productions even while she was shooting numerous movies with them. This is according to Belshim's grandmother and Mama angrily took her back to Wari and this whole thing was before the death of late prophet T.B. Joshua. So, when late prophet T.B. Joshua, who was a family friend, heard about Belshim's predicament and situation, he reached out to the family asking Mama to bring Belshim down to Lagos. Mama then took Belshim to Lagos to meet the man of God, but according to her, they couldn't see him. Mama said they were kept in a hotel for three days waiting to see prophet T.B. Joshua but all to no avail. They couldn't meet the man of God. Maybe he was busy or something. Mama even said hunger nearly killed her. Well, Mama then brought back Pershim to worry where she lives with her and was attending some ghetto school in the trenches of worry. And here is an excerpt from our conversation with Mama. For some reasons, we can't play everything, but listen attentively to this part of the conversation to hear what Mama was saying about Pershim's predicament and situation with Mama. Hello. Yeah, hello, Mama. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mama, uh, we do a um, video because we follow your granddaughter. See? So we do some person tell us that she did uh, worry, she did one school like that, and also we can't do video about her to let it know because people be ask us, ask us why she know they act again, why she know they for movies again. So we can't do video to let them know say she know really did Lagos with so many to do again and everything. So when we do the video now, plenty of people will watch the video. They come, they ask us say, where she did, they want help her. Then some, one of them are uh, one um, pastor, one senior pastor waiting for Porta Court, uh, Apostle Chibu, Chibuzo. He uh, passed away, they help people, like send boys abroad and all. So he come meet us, say, make Una carry her, go. He wants an ample scholarship. You won't give him scholarship. I think maybe not abroad because he sent some boys go abroad just of his friend. And him they always help most actors and all. So he says if he carry her, go for in church there for Potter Court. He go give him scholarship. And he no thought he go collect her from him now. Now no, I go see the take care of her. But he go just sponsor everything. He go just make sure say he sponsor everything about her. See she grow finish. So he, he meets me because I need the video. So he meets me. Say so make her tell Una, make or bring her call. So me, I they try to reach Una since that time. I they try to reach Una, make her talk to Una so that I go get back to Ram. Since I know she gets you, but thank God say now I don't get you. And plenty of people say they say they want help, they want help. But just say I know to know others. But at least this one. I studied the man very well, Apostle Chibuzo. He uh, passed away in a very big way. Oh, the people they come meet me, I saw no one. They leave her. 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 They leave Never you go, I'm ready to go. 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 I'm ready to go